What's up everyone, Scott the Trout Hammer here. Welcome to another beautiful spring, summer morning. I really don't know anymore. Nine o'clock in the morning and it's like 70 degrees outside. But that's the joke of Oregon is we don't have seasons, we just have temperatures and weather. But we are back at one of my local ponds and the goal today hopefully is to do a little bit of this and a little bit of this. So I've never done a catch and cook before and I'm gonna go for trout today, but I don't know how today's gonna go. It's a lot hotter than I thought it was gonna be. So I tried to come here during the morning to get that colder morning bite. Hopefully it's still going on. So I'm not gonna waste any time. Let's get some bait in the water. Yep, you saw me. There you go, guys. That's a fish. There you go, guys. That's unreal. Oh, this is such an awesome looking fish. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, check that out. Uh, I'm not gonna lie guys, these are gonna be some tough trout fishing conditions. I had to wait for drier weather to do this. Well, that's a fish already. <laughs> okay, not as tough as I thought it was gonna be. Fish on the first cast. You know what, that's a good trout to start. Well, okay guys, disregard everything I said about this being tough trout fishing conditions right now. Me being the absolute pro I am, I forgot to bring a stringer, so I gotta make one. Well then, in an effort to make this more than a three minute long video, I'm gonna keep fishing for a little bit. And if I don't catch anything, well, not bad, I already got my fish. And yeah, I did bring other rods in the hopes I would use them too. Oh. Getting the rod set up for a lure and already got another fish on it. This is why I don't believe in that first cast curse. Oh, well, maybe if you lose the fish. So if you guys have watched my channel for a long time, you guys know that I've used a small snap swivel or a small barrel swivel, like the smallest one you can get for my uh, spinners and spoons when trout fishing so I could switch between lures and still get the same action. I've actually tried something different today. This is one of those uh, quick clips that you can get for fly fishing to quickly change fly lures. And so far, it's actually working out for my spinners and spoons today. There we go. As I was saying, that's why I don't believe in the first cast curse. Okay, this is a decent fish. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. All right, two fish stringer so far. And back out we go. Do I even need to set my rod down? Well, am I gonna get a chance to fish my other rod? Or at least pick it up? <laughs> Literally turn around and we're doinking away. Come on, show me you're actually biting. Man, it's all right, I can wait for you. Fish on. Oh yeah, that's another decent one. This one is alive. Would you stop? Man, how's that for a lip hook on a trout? <laughs> Hit the like button for that. Doesn't get much easier off than that. Well, since this guy's undamaged and I got two fish, I'll probably keep a bigger one. I'm gonna let this guy go. Really? You were so alive just a second ago. Well, you're breathing. Fish, you better make it. That's gonna make me mad. You were lip hooked. You were completely undamaged. You were flopping around right before I tossed you back in the water. Oh, come on. Recover. Recover. You can do it. No, don't go belly up again. Come on. You can make it. Hang on, fish, I'll get back to you in a second. Okay, this is another decent one. Okay, yeah, this is a good fish. Oh yeah, this is one of the trophy trout. <laughs> okay, that's a good trout. This fish broke someone off because here's its line still in it, and I got him right in the lip. Yeah, someone gut hooked this guy and broke him off. You're mine now. Oh, well, so far that's one fish for the frying pan and two fish for the smoker at home. Well, so far my fish I threw back has made it that far, and it's still breathing. And I think the fish I returned made it because I just stepped out from the shade. I was staying in the shade for about five minutes, and I don't see him anywhere. It's good, I hate the needless killing of fish. 
Yeah, right now I just want to catch one more so I can say I caught a limit, but I'm starting to think it's gotten too warm for the trout. And we are not up in the mountain streams where it really doesn't matter how hot it gets. It's all snow melt and snow runoff, so water's nice and cold. Well, we can just leave that one rod in the water while we get to cooking. Whew. It's a little hot in these rhinos. At least I got some shade. All right, guys, so we got three fish, one for the frying pan today, two for the smoker at home, one good size one, one trophy. It ended up being a lot better fishing day than I thought. Now, I'm actually gonna cook these things right here on the shore where I'm at, and how am I gonna do that? Well, I'm gonna use this handy little stove here. So this is an electric stove from BioLite. It's an electric stove that actually uses any fuel you can find along the way, twigs, leaves, branches. These things are actually really popular as like portable coffee pots. I'm actually gonna use this thing to fry up some fish. So the way it works is this little battery pack here has a fan that blows into the chamber inside there that creates an air circulation to keep the fire going. And this right here actually collects the smoke so you make a smokeless flame. And what it does is it converts the heat into energy. So it actually charges the battery inside this, which allows you to, if you're in a survival situation or you're out camping, charge any portable device you have, even have an attachable light to help you see what you're cooking. Now I'm not sponsored by BioLite. I just think this is an absolutely awesome some tool, me being an outdoorsman and a survival enthusiast, but one of the coolest things about the BioLites is whenever you buy one of these, the company sends one free to a developing country for people to use because there's a lot of people in developing countries that have to cook indoors that get diseases and get ailments from the smoke they inhale all the time, and this creates a smokeless flame and gives them the, abil the ability to have some electricity where they're at. So that's one of the awesome things about this. It's, it is on the spendy side. These things cost 100 bucks, but like I said, when you buy one, they do send one to a developing country. So you get a great tool and you help a great cause. Let's get this thing going and get these fish cooked. catching or the first time ever eating my catch right after I catch it. Oh man, <laughs> something about eating fish outside. I think it's meant to be. So real quick to wrap this video up, I wanna know what you guys thought down in the comments below. Let me know what you thought about my first catch and cook video. And I know I've been teasing this for a long time, but I finally know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a giveaway here in the next couple of weeks, sort of to celebrate the fact that, you know, coming up at the end of this month, the streams are gonna open for wild trout fishing, and I am very much mostly a trout fisherman. So I'm gonna do a giveaway with my top five trout fishing lures, that video that's been absolutely blowing up in views for the last couple of months. Go back and check out that video if you guys wanna see what the giveaway is gonna be. And I'll lay out the terms to qualify for the giveaway in the next coming videos. Real quick, I can tell you guys an easy one. One of the terms to qualify for the video is, hey, subscribe to the channel, hit the notify button, so you're gonna be the first to see all the great content that's gonna come from the channel. And will you guys subscribe to the channel if your account setting is on public and I could read your name, I'll give you a shout out in the video I record over the weekend. All right, so I'm gonna finish my lunch before work here. I'm gonna tell you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, tips up, tight line, and have fun fishing and eating.